morning. Let's take you through a day with the beach volleyball games. As you might have heard already, breakfast is the most important meal of the day. That's why we always eat a good breakfast. And then we have our first practice of the day. And I thought it would be a good idea to talk with our coach about what we do. But that was maybe not a smart idea because... No, I'm, I'm just kidding. Here it is. Yeah, when we come to practice, we always start with uh, basics in shoulder program and uh, also some uh, yoga inspired hip, back and stomach exercises. And we use about uh, 20 minutes on that. Normally we start with uh, warm up games so that we get better in ball control. We don't jump too much in the morning, so uh, they can be in focus on serve, setting and of course also serve, uh, receive. What are you guys doing right now? We are uh, training at pool and we have reception and setting and uh, it's my turn. No, it's not. <laughs> so we are receptioning in the middle to communicate. Uh, we can take the ball and then we have to put a long shot. <laughs> so the reason why I'm not practicing with the other guys is uh, I have a knee injury right now and uh, I can't really jump. You're now practicing and receiving a lot in the wind. What is important to think about? It's important to move your legs. Uh, because uh, try to keep the ball in your body and then you have to then you have the chance to reach the ball with your arms. And like, you guys are practicing a lot of uh, receiving and passing. Why is that important? Because that's uh, the preparation for the attack. Without the pass, without the receive. No, without the pass, without the set, you can't attack. If you can't attack, you can't score. If you can't score, you can't win. Okay. Thank you. Next time, not over. Thank you. <laughs> when it comes to strength, we are mostly focusing about preventing our bodies from injuries. We're, we're also trying to like get stronger and jump higher and everything, but our main goal is to stay away from injuries. Because we want to keep doing this for, I don't know, uh, at least I want to keep doing this, uh, play volleyball for 15, 20 years. So uh, I can't, uh, I don't know what I'm doing right now. I, I'm 21, I'm dealing with a lot of injuries. So I gotta step it up with, uh, with the weightlifting. <laughs> On average, beach volleyball players are jumping between 80 to 100 times per game, and it's a long season. The tournaments are, are also long, so it's a, it's a big load on your knees and, uh, and everything. So you really need to have a good physical base to be able to deal with a long season like that. Now let's check out a little Come montage. In between practice, we all do different things. Obviously, Kristen sleeps. Henry too. Some of us study. Some of us likes to clean their room. And others not. Okay, let's jump to practice number three.
Okay, we're done with practice. Now, what do we do? We play Mario Kart. <laughs> yes. I think Let's go! Mario Kart! Okay, that's all we had for you this time. Thank you so much for watching. So if you would like to see more of what we do in the strength room and what we eat and uh, more on what we focus about when we practice ball, just comment below and maybe we'll make a video about it one day. So once again, thank you for watching and uh, see you guys in the next one. Peace.